in this video, I'm gonna show you three IKEA lag hacks that I came up with all on my very own. Okay, so I love the IKEA lag tables. However, they're super short, and I don't know whose couch besides IKEA can that table work as an end table for. But I'm gonna show you guys how I made that table the correct height so that I can use it with my regular size couch that I got from Rooms to Go. And by the way, I'm Duena, and if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you're not, hey boo, missed you, I mean that too. Please stick around, subscribe, come see me. All right guys, so how did I make this table? I first glued the legs together and I used hot glue, which is actually Gorilla Glue hot sticks. And you have to purchase two tables. You can either purchase them in white for $7.99 from Ikea or you can get the black brown for $9.99. So I went with black brown. And then for me to cover up the ends of the tables, the legs, I'm sorry, not the ends of the leg tables, the ends of the legs, I had to buy some 97 cent uh, acrylic paint from Walmart and I just mixed it and then I just applied it with this little sponge brush and let it dry and everything pretty much looked the same color. So before you assemble everything with the hot glue, you take the legs from the second table that's not already put together and you measure it out and from where I want my legs to be, I wanted them to be four inches in on each side so it can sit directly in the middle. <laughs> you see me doing that now. So once I got all of that stuff measured, measure twice, well I'm not going to say cut once, but measure twice just to make sure that you got it where you want it. And then measure if they're in as far as you want them to be in. I thought I would like it if they laid flat, but it didn't look right next to my couch. It was a little too short. So I ended up going with the taller method. So once you do that, you're going to add your hot glue, which again is the Gorilla Glue Sticks. And you just place them down in the areas that you marked off. And I'm using a white eyeliner for the markings of this thing. And it wiped off with no problem. So as soon as you apply it, the stuff sticks, look, picking it up with no problem. And from there, you add your glue to the tops of these little blocks or leg. And then you add your Z Gorilla Glue. And then from there, you add more glue and then the table. So what I did was once I finally got it where I wanted it to go and look at my natural hair Whoa. this footage is very old by the way and so once I got it to be where I wanted it to be I just applied the glue and set my caboodle uh, on top of it so that it can have some weight and I think it had stuff in there to let it cure I let it cure for 24 hours and I have not had any problems with this table whatsoever guys Guys, I truly apologize for not having the footage to show you how I made this bench. But it was very easy. I just took an IKEA lac table and cut it in half. I took it to Home Depot and I screwed the legs into the part that it's normally screwed into. And the other part, I just used hot glue sticks and I screwed it in and I added padding and fur. This was transformed by using just some contact paper. This is a stainless steel, got it from Walmart. And then I just added a piece of wood in the middle to create a divider and voila, 
a little bit more character. Yes, if you like this video, click on the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell next to it. Also, give this video a thumbs up so that I can make more videos for you. Okay?